how does it feel, man? Like, cause I've been vocal, I've been honest about it. If I was on the same season as you, you would have pissed me the hell off. Cause I would have been a hater, right? It ain't nothing that you did personally. I just would have been a hater. It's like being Tom Brady. I just hate you cause you're Tom Brady. You don't play for the Cowboys, right? So how, how is it being in your position? Like this woman that, is clearly only wanting you. Like, I think how, like, how does you feel in regards to other guys? Did you, did you care? Did you not care? So, I mean, obviously, like when you're in it, you're you're focused on um, like yourself and your your time together. Um, but I definitely felt tension. Um, but it wasn't something that was consuming in any way, shape or form, because I tried to be myself and still regardless of our time, my time with Claire or on the dates myself and still build a quality relationship with the guys um, as much as possible. But I remember after. Um, it was like our, uh, a group date uh, when we spent a little too much time together. That's when I really, <laughs> really felt a lot of heat from the guys. And rightfully so, I think, to a degree. Um, but it was really important that I felt that at that stage because, you know, after that night and going into the next day, I, I let go of any worry, any limiting belief in that setting. And I just said, you know, love me or hate me. Like, you know, I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, I, um, I'm, I'm here for her. Yeah. I think and she gave at the end conference. of the day, like, there's only so much that you can do and you can control. If you try to make everyone happy, um, you're going to end up, you're going to end up hurting the people that you care about the most. And I, I saw that and sensed that because there were a few times where I was like, almost like cutting our time short, you know, because I felt guilty in some of those yeah. instances. And I had no idea that. about the structure. I'll elaborate on that because you've seen this show in the past. And, you know, we both know, all three of us know, with Claire being the lead, that's never happened before in a sense of, she only wants you. It's unprecedented. Uh, yeah, she's only wants you, right? And a part of you probably feels good about it, then a part of you, like you just said, you know, you felt a little bit bad at times. Did you ever bring that up to Claire? Like, and what would be those conversations? Yeah, I mean, we definitely talked about that uh, a little bit, um, but I think our conversations really all focused around each other, you know, and what you saw from the first first night that we, we truly did have a connection and a bond that um, I, I still to this day can't even explain it and put it into words. And I know for both of us, we felt that in after spending a little bit of time together, that was confirmed because, you know, one of the biggest fears is that you're going to feel a certain way for someone and it's not going to be reciprocated. And I think we found out very early on that that's exactly how we felt for one another. So it made everything else I'm, that much easier. I mean, um, Dale, Dale, she she literally said when you came out of that limo and you walked away, what did she say? She said, I, I think I just met my husband. So <laughs> you guys were like an unstoppable force from like the jump and something that we were talking about the guys and whatnot and for my season like i always would say it like whether i was the the front runner and you know f first in her heart or if i was you know watching that going on with somebody else it doesn't mean that you're better than any, anybody anybody yeah. else you're not better than anybody else but at the same time you are the best man for her and that was determined very early on yeah well i mean i think that's just in life though right it's, yeah that's that's what you want and that's what you hope for and um yeah it, it was it was something that i mean even to this day when i because when i first saw it i didn't know that she said that um until it actually aired you know yeah. and i was like taken back and i remember my sister called me like crying you know she's like you know i wish mom could see this i'm so happy for you um i just want you to be happy and it, it was it was special because you know you could feel that through uh the tv screen and um, it was never a set, you know, a feeling of being better um, than anyone else. I didn't focus on what they were doing during their time um, because I feel like that can consume you. I just tried yeah. to hold on to our time together as much as possible and just know that regardless of what went on, it was enough. And that was going to stand the test of time, you know, however long it would be. Obviously, things ended up being a little bit shorter.